everybody. Welcome to another episode of Die Another Day. We're finally back. It's only been, I don't even know. Two months? We're so bad. I don't even know. We're hanging our heads in shame. Life is busy. Life is busy, and I don't even know what we shared last, so we're just going to fly by the seat of pants. Yeah. I'm Amanda. I'm a yarn enabler. I'm, you can find me on yarnenabler.com. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me Facebook. And this is my partner in crime, the person who knows where all the bodies are buried, <laughs> the one who taught me how to pearl wrong. And right. And right. <laughs> you know her, you love her. This is the Cozy Knitter. And I'm Christina, and you can find me online at thecozyknitter.com and uh, Ravelry and Instagram mainly. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're here. We're back. We're fine. We're back. And we have stuff to show you. We do. Christina's been like super intellectual and she has knitting books. I have books. Which is like I, impressive. Like, I feel like I haven't done much. So um, we have been really busy. My dad was here visiting for a mm. while and we have built, built, completed the studio. Yay! I know, um, I need a tour before mm, I leave. And, uh, I so might that, just move in. That took a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> that took a lot of time. Well, you were without power for two days? One day? Just one day. Just one day, yeah. Yeah, so they had power to a... and plumbing and it's all done. It it's, works. It's all good. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. All right. And I've I've been knitting actually a lot, a lot. I've mm -hmm. been knitting and shopping and all the good stuff and dyeing. Obviously, that's yeah. all stuff. So well, let's we... look at your whips because I only have one. I have <laughs> bows. I Whoa, have okay, three well, let's start bows. There. Okay. So this first guy, I was knitting this last podcast. What? So this is my surge. By Northbound Knitting. Lisa Much. Lisa. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, no. <gasps> I have a catch. Here. We'll have to fix it. Oh, look how it pulled right here. It looks fine now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to get out my little crochet fine. needle and this fix that. This is really nice. It is so fun. I just wish it was just a little bit bigger. Mm. But I've used all of the gray. I have like zero and gray this left. Was this a plucky? Maybe I'll have to watch the last podcast. <laughs> don't remember what it's doing. We're, We're the worst. We are the worst. We're the worst. We admit it. Oh my it. goodness. Yeah, I don't know, and I don't remember what this is. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I remembered it's a surge by Northbound Knitting. That's something. That's I'm something. Halfway there. So yeah, but it's. I just wish it was like one of these bigger. Another like, wedge. I, I just want it another wedge. Yeah. Because it's just barely big enough to be like I like a really long shawl, like a really mm. long. The way I wear it, so. Yeah. Anyways, it's fun. It was super easy because it's all just short rows, mm -hmm. um, and obviously garter, and super simple. It didn't take me long to do. I think I did this in like under two weeks. That's really nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm very. It hasn't been blocked yet. Oh, I like that the cast off is in the color. I did that. That's because I ran out of the gray. Well, it looks really nice. <laughs> I liked it, right? I know, but it hasn't been. Well, blocked. and it goes really well with this here too. Yeah, I like, thought it worked well, right? Yeah. That was one of my mods, and it's not knit to pattern because I lost count. We're all surprised, so surprised. <laughs> but it, it it worked out mm -hmm. somehow. The maths worked out. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's all good. So I need to block it. So maybe if I blocked it, see, I don't want it bigger this way. I want it bigger this, this way. way, which is kind of. And I slipped the edges, so it's kind of tight. Yeah. So I don't know how much I could stretch it lengthwise, yeah, but I don't think it'll get too much. No. But I'm so sad about my little catch. I'll have to fix it. We'll okay. fix it. All right. So that's that was my first whip, and mm -hmm. I like it because it's it goes well if you're wearing black, which I wear a lot of black, and it mm -hmm. wears well if I wear like almost any color. So it's fun. It's very fun. I like it. So that was my whip, my first whip, and then these are what I'm really excited about. Okay. So I have a new monthly club, mm -hmm. and it's called the Man Club, and it's colorways designed with like basic men in mind like not the men who like wearing the salmon and the teal and like this is for like like my husband who's an electrician and works with guys on a construction site and would get teased mercilessly which I don't agree with because pink is just another color but there's guys out there who don't want to wear it so we came up with a man club so this was January's colorway and we called it tool belt because you all know my obsession with tool belts so he's worn these so much you can see they're washed. I literally washed them last night, but he is so man dirty 
and his boots are so disgusting dirty, I'm going to have to throw these in the, in the washing machine because I just couldn't mm. get all the dirt out. Like, they're, like, gross and stiff, even though they're freshly washed. They That's don't smell. great ad. <laughs> great ad, right? Buy my wool. <laughs> it's dirty. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> they're not dirty. They're just, I don't know. Anyway, so he you wanted love. one extra long pair. So I made this one super, super duper long, obviously, because here's the sock blocker inside. I'll say they are pretty long. They're very long. Yeah. Well, I made on the man club, the skeins are extra big. They're mm -hmm. 135 grams because man feet. Anyway, so this is, this is tool belts. So, um, I'm going to be, if you're not a club member, why aren't you a club member? I'm going to open up old clubs, I think probably around the six month mark so people can buy them. Anyway, so this was January. And then this was February. This one was called Zamboni. And it's, this one. yeah, this one's kind of, hold on. His feet are bigger than my sock blockers. I apologize. It's hard to get you a could, good. You could have stolen the man sock blockers. <laughs> so last time we podcasted, I accidentally stole Christina's girl sock blockers and didn't even realize it until this morning. I have manly ones. Hold do on. you have manly ones? I okay. do. Because I can't, this is not fitting, like the heel's weird. It's wonky. I have to take my hubby's, Your husband's off? My hubby's man sock off. This one isn't quite so worn because it's one month less of worn. All right. And I did both of these toe up because, um, well, the other, the tool belt, I wanted to see how big I could actually get them. Mm -hmm. And then these ones, it was just easier. So here we go. That's perfect. Oh, I, I, I was scared I was going to hit you. Yikes. <laughs> so I like Zamboni. Zamboni's a little bit mm -hmm. um, more colorful, obviously, than tool belt. But I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. Anyways, I'm very happy with how these turned out. March, I'll give you a little sneak of March. It's called Show Me the Money. Ooh. Right? So that will be fun. So then we have Tool Belt, Zamboni, and Show Me the Money. So even the names have to be, like, man-friendly. So man you get... Man-friendly. Man-friendly. So there's going to be no, like, Tinkerbell or Daisy Blossoms or... Nothing with flowers. <laughs> Nothing with flowers. Mm. So the minis is the dark gray. You get a mini to do, like, toe heels, cuffs. Um, this one mini is obviously the denim color. That one. So I love it. I love Man Club. I've gotten some good mm. feedback on it, so I'm really excited to, to for people to get show me the money. It's gonna so, be in the mail this week. I love how your husband is wearing the heck out of his socks. Yeah. Mine is afraid to wear his. Aww. These were finished in like October, and he won't wear them because he wore one pair out, Aww. and he doesn't want to wear the other ones out. I told him I want him to wear them out because these are I knit these with both BFL. So I'm, I'm interested to see how they wear, but you can see on the heel, where is the camera? You can see he's already, like you can see the wear on the heel, but I mean, he's in big, big ass construction boots. Mm. So, but I think that wears pretty good for two months and he wears them twice yeah. a week. Cause he yeah. wears them and washes them. boots are not the most, um, they're not the kindest. They're not the kindest. That's where he always wears it, all his socks. So I would love for him to wear these out. Cause I mean, this is, this is two months already. So finish these before the end of January and it's the end of March. So mm -hmm. he's had two full months in these and I think they're wearing really well. Yeah. And they've been washed and dried in the machines. I know. They both have. I know. But you know what? Because he wants to wear them so much and I'm not freaking mm -hmm. hand washing his stinky socks. So they can just go in the washing machine and yeah, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. But it's on cold and it's fine. They turned out well. Anyways, enough about the man feet. Man feet. <laughs> but the club's fun. And then my regular club, I don't have, I forgot to bring January for my regular color club, but this was, this was February. And this, I started these for me because I thought, how cute would it be if we each got a new pair of socks every month and then we could take pictures because I really had so much fun taking pictures. That was cute. Pictures. That was really cute. Go check out the picture from January. For the club. I'll put a picture in. Yeah, it was, it was pretty fun to do. And he was such a good sport. It was like minus 10. And he's out oh. there with like his pants hiked up to his knees, standing on like concrete in his socks. And and I had a new pair of socks, which I forgot to bring. But I didn't get myself a new pair of socks. I don't know where they went. Anyways. But then I'm, I didn't get these finished for the February photo shoot because I ended up knitting my son a pair of socks. Mm. So this is a whip. We're doing whips. Can I move on to the next oh, one? Hold on. I'll it's my Feb. Club. <gasps> yes, February. Feb clubs. Ooh. That's your Feb, right? Yeah, yeah. Those are Feb clubs. That's I awesome. went really girly and pink for Valentine's Day. I love it. Sweetheart. That's so pretty. I like how the navy's in it, though. 
Yeah. That's very nice. But we both have navy, and our pinks are mm, not really the same, but I love it. That's pink. That it's pink similar. Is similar. Yeah. 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 I even wrote down the formula so I can. What? Right? And look, oh I did a twisted God. rib. Rob's aren't twisted ribs. His are like regular boring rib. I've one been doing by one. two by two on mine lately. I hate two by two. I don't mind it. I love I've been my changing twisted rib. everything. It's changing up. Like yeah. I've been. This, so this is. I don't even know if I showed this last time, but I've been doing the, the two by two ribbing on mine. Well, but that looks nice on yours. And I've been Do knitting. you go down a needle size? I've been. No. No, I but they look so neat and tidy. And then I've been doing the eye of partridge heel on mine. Oh, don't even With get me started gusset. on heels. Instead of normally, I would always do um, smooth operator. Just nope. change it up. Kiss lips. That's what he likes, and he doesn't have the extra need of the extra archy. Mm, see, I do. So this fits him perfectly. I'm very happy. I do fish lips. It pulls too much for me. No, nope, it works. But and then these are my. I don't know. Have tube socks. Those, those I don't, I don't understand. How can anybody get those? Socks? No, not even like regular machine cotton ones. Not like what? Like kids maybe? But no, I don't know. I'm Is confused. It good too? These are my son's socks. They are um, the Hogwarts colors, house colors, but we can't call them that because I don't want to be shut down for <laughs> infringement. So you have um, the black and yellow, which is Hufflepuff. The green and silver, which is Slytherin. The red and yellow for Gryffindor. And then the blue and the bronze for Ra Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Yeah. And so my son is... Uh, You're looking at me. I just bought my very first Harry Potter book. <laughs> and I have not opened the packaging yet. <laughs> so I, have, I have you. seen the movies and read like 30 pages of a book. <laughs> that counts, right? Yes, it counts. Okay. But he, he says he's in Gryffindor, so I'm doing the toes and the cuffs. Mm. The toes and heels in the red. Did you do the the test with them? Yes. The sorting hat. Yes. Thing? Um, what's the name of that website? Um, um, I can't remember. There's a website where you go uh, and you take know. the test. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I but I literally called. just finished the heel and oh. the ball it's is still attached. You okay. That's under my eye. I'm okay. I'll survive. <laughs> I'll be okay. I still have the ball of wool attached, so I just stuck it in there. That works. Right. So that's that's what I'm working on. These two, and then. The March is just coming off the warping mill, so I'll start those. So, priority one, the March priority two, and then this is priority three. I'm always last. Why do we always do our stuff last? I and I'm know. usually a very selfish knitter, so it's very difficult for me to actually be I like... I was going to be so good and try to have like a sample or like a half of a sock, like a leg, yeah. knit by the time that the yarn gets sent got to, yeah people start getting it. my customers and yeah. i'm not they're they're beating me i way better than me i'm doing really well i'm doing like really a full bad. pair a full pair by what? the time i mean not by the time people receive them but by the mm. time i'm ready to like show them out to people because mm. i usually they get mailed at the end of the month people start receiving them like the first two weeks of the month and then i'm done mm. by the end of the following month so yeah. i don't know i'm no. slacking on march I'm bad. Oh I God, I always die mine in the beginning. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, what's my mind? Yeah, I know. You're good for the 15th. Um, I die mine in the beginning of the month because my club renews on the 1st. Um, yeah, if then you know how If many. you're on month, like if you're part of my club on a monthly basis, it renews the 1st yeah. of every month. Oh, and then that tells me how many stuff. to die. So I die them and they usually ship around the 15th, 20th of the month. So I hope we get them by the end of the month. And then my plan was to knit the sample with obviously one of the mm -hmm. first skeins and then have a decent sample to show by the time everybody was receiving it but I'm a giant slacker Life. and that didn't happen. Girl you got five kids and a business to run mm -hmm. you are not a slacker. But I'm going to be spending Life. a whole heck of a lot of time on the sidelines of various different sports. Which is a lot of knitting time So and the traveling yeah. time if you're not driving. Yeah. Which so I think we'll, you'll be doing a lot of that. But I'll be doing a lot of and driving. Then. We have a tournament almost every weekend starting at the beginning of May, right until mm -hmm. mid of August. Mm. I'm exhausted just listening to that. I have so, dance comps coming up, but it's a great, great. then we're done. Come June, I'm free as a bird, mm -hmm. and for like three whole weeks. Oh, it's so lovely. And the kids are going on vacation, and then we're going on vacation, and it's going to be a good summer. I'm so excited. Anyways, 
my vacation will be at a baseball diamond or yeah. in a lacrosse arena. But if you get a hotel and you can go swimming, yeah. it's not so bad. But it's full with kids. <laughs> Mm, <laughs> and they're and they're unsupervised and rowdy, which does not make for relaxing. But it's no. fun for them. So yeah. I'll survive. Um, we got so that's all my whips. I literally just threw. Oh, oh, I have one whip. You have a whip. I was gonna say I knit all of them on. Um, I'm a two point two five needle. These are my zings. These are knit on my Audi Audi <laughs> Addy sock rockets two point two fives. These guys. Those needles. Oh, I'm just dropping mm. everything. And then I did do something on. Oh, the my double pointed needles. Oh, I have something else to show. I forgot it. Oh my God. Oh yeah. <gasps> just making a mess in the house. Making a mess. These I knit on my um, what you call them? The fancy ones. My GPNs. On your signatures? I knit these on my signatures. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So this is for. We're both doing squares mm -hmm. for the Indie Untangled. Um, what did you call it? Community quilts? Something like that. Something like that. Uh, 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 no, the back. Collaborative quilt? It's a blanket square. Yes. Uh, granny square blanket. So this was my square, of course. So back, honey. Show the front. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can't really tell. But. There's barely, there's barely when I change colors. But so yeah, so this is literally from one of my pencil kits, um, but using half the amount of wool, because obviously that's pretty, almost the size of a soft toe, so I just use half the amount. And same with that. I ended mm. up having to use more pink than I would normally, but it is what it is because I didn't know where to stop the yellow. Yeah, yeah. Right? There's no pattern. This is mm -hmm. just me. And she wanted seven inch squares. So I literally somehow managed to do seven inches. Perfect. And I didn't, I've never made a square before. So I just, um, to, to grow it, so like when I cast on here, and then I just did a um, knit front back into the very last stitch every mm -hmm. time. And then when I got to what I thought would be like halfway, I was like roughly measuring because I was like I can block it if it's not right sure, you can make it behave <laughs> I can make it behave I will beat it no so when I got to like halfway I was like okay so I guess I just decrease one now at the end of yeah. every row so I did so I knit two together on the last of every single row so I increased every row and decreased every row which actually turned out really well because then it alternated what side mm -hmm. it was on yeah. I knew they were so easy I had no idea yeah yeah. And so I love it. I freaking, I need to make myself a blanket now. I think of pencils because how That's cute really is cute. that? And I'm thinking this would be a great dishcloth. Yeah. So I need to like figure out how to dye cotton. It can't be that hard. Oh no, you just need a different dye. I just need a different dye. It's like tie dyeing, right? Pretty much. But who would like pencil dishcloths? Wouldn't that be fun? We have a little visitor with us today. Your turn. Show my whip. Christina's turn for whip it. Whip it good. I'm going to pick up this. Now that song's stuck in my head. Okay, so it's a little hard to because I'm mid-row because this is how I do things. But this is my one and only whip, like the only thing I've worked on She's at literally mid-row and the needles are just sticking out there. They're fine. Um, so this is the Veronica cardigan. Oh, you've come a long I way. I, I've, I've done decent work on it. This is oh the Veronica goodness. cardigan. Oops, that's the back. This is the front. <laughs> well, technically, this is the back and this is the front. But this is the front side of the both of them. Um, so, this will work something along like this. This will be going like oh. so. Oh. And then this comes around. And I'm just about to do the decreases here to knit this side. Oh. So, yeah. So, you're like halfway done. Like more. You're more than halfway. Yeah. So, I just have. Um, like this much to knit of the back what? on the other side to do the decreases and then I cast all of these stitches off so and knit soft. another front panel. So, so soft. So. And I love the color. Uh, yeah, it's um, Plucky Knitter Primo uh, Worsted and the Make a Grown Man Cry colorway. I love it. And I love this ribbing. Here, yeah. I'll put it forward here. I love the ribbing. Oh, it looks so lush Super in the plucky shrinky. too. Like that is a fabulous choice Delicious. for the little. Yeah. And I was knitting them on a needle that I can't remember, and then <laughs> I treated myself to a pair of signatures because they had a. Mardi Did you switch mid project? Yeah. Ooh, rebel. They had a Mardi Gras um, special signatures. Yes. So I treated myself. <laughs> but I'm quite happy with Tax it. Tax deduction. But it's like outgrowing my 
my feel bag. <laughs> it's kind of a little bag. Do feel bags make bigger bags, or is that the they only make, size? They um, make they make their porter bins. Oh um, right. Speaking of porter bins. Um, speaking of which, she also treated herself to something else. So I already have a porter bin in this color, but then they had like a limited run because somebody cut fabric wrong or something of mini porters. That's so cute. So I got it for my needle storage. Nice. I was going to ask what those envelopes for. I was like, I hope that's not your address on the top label, but it's just the size of the needle. Yeah, it's the size of the, the needle. And then when I buy a new set of tips, I always get two cords. I keep these spare cord back in here. I love that purple. What size is the purple? Um, it is a 3.5 or a US 4. I love that color. It's fantastic. So I have wool to show you guys in that color. <laughs> That was a little bit of my um You did some shopping. I like it. You got yeah. new needles, you got a new bag. I like yeah. it. I got a couple of books. I want to see the books. I'm really into these books. Okay. So I've never heard of these little ones before. Um I'll I don't know what rock ones. I'm living under. So this is uh, I got a couple of copies of Interpretations, which is for those of you living under Amanda's Rock. It's a collaboration between Hohi Locatelli and uh, Vera Valamecki. I told you, it's a big rock. There's probably more of us on So there. every year they do a collaboration where they pick six words as the inspiration, and then they each oh. um, create a design for that word. That's so cool. And so if you kind of... <gasps> Look at the shawl on the back. There are some pretty amazing That is so a guys. Hohi shawl. So like, cool. Really amazing thing. Really design. pretty, too. Look at that. And um, so oh, I, like I wanted shirt, all five copies. So they just came out with a fifth issue, and I wanted all five, but I can only find three of them. Oh. That's driving me crazy. Are they, they out of print? Um, they're out of stock. So their okay. publisher is Pom Pom, so this is where I ordered these from. Oh. So now I need to find a yarn store that has the other two volumes that I'm missing, because if you know anything about me, I don't do partial collections. I, I don't. And like, if I buy a book in hardcover from an author, she buys the, the whole damn set. She I buy the whole set. No, no, it has, has to be. To, oh. It has to be hardcover. It has yes. to be the same. Yes. I am not. If it's not the same, it's no good. <laughs> then I have to rebuy it all over again. In. Which is why I'm surprised you don't have more signatures. I have five sets, <laughs> plus two sets of DPNs and some sweets. <laughs> So this is volume five, which is the newest collection. And there's quite a few really awesome pieces in there too. So there was so many. I was leafing through these. I don't I didn't get through all three books before I'm um, like, well, that's like look at this. Fantastic. Look at the boxing. There were so many things in these that I wanted to make. And this? What? Ooh, is that the one that we said that would look really good on Sheila? Yeah, so Sheila hosts our um, knit night. Three, and three sisters knit, Sheila. Yeah, and they, she was looking through it, and this is That's so something she's going to make. She's going to make Allie. this. Allie. 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 Oh, and Ooh. then this shawl. We need, like, just a little break. That so one. We... <gasps> oh, yes. I know. Fantastic. Ooh. There are. Ooh, I like. Go back, go back. with the salmon colored one. I think, is there, that's better, nice. What's that picture of that one? No. Oh. But it's like a shifty anemone. I'd say, I just want to say that, anemone. Isn't it a Cardi or is it a shirt? It's a, it's a shirt. Yeah. Shirt sleeve. Oh, I want to get that. I'm going to have to buy this. Ooh, go back, go back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, no, no. This one. It's a good like picture of it here, too. Yes. I like that. Right? It's like a tunic. Yes. And well done, ladies. I also got volume four. Yeah, you did. Because I got everything they had in stock. Like, look at this one. Oh, you could wear that. Yes. I can see Christina doing that. Do you think you would, like, just have a whole bunch of, like, would you carry the colors down? Like, would you just, or would you, do you think you'd cut them? Just out of curiosity. Um, for this one, I would carry them. Yeah. It only looks like two or three rows. I would carry yeah. them. Yeah. Because I could just, I couldn't handle the ends, no. 
butt guys. Ooh. This has got to be an Amanda Shaw. Ooh. So many colors. Amanda likes that. Ooh, I'm getting my color palette together for Mina's new shawl changes. Oh, yes, yes. So I've dyed the big For you skins. or for are you selling kits? No, no, I'm not selling kits, just for more. <gasps> I saw this one in person. That's nice. No, just for me, I'm being selfish. Um, so I'm calling up with a with a. Ooh, guys! Ooh. So much awesomeness in here. Like you, you wouldn't be knitting for years. Like this stash behind you, gone. Maybe not. It's rather large stash. Well, this isn't I'll even. Try. There's more over here. I'll Can you try. even see my hand? There's more over there. More over there. I did get rid of a bunch. Amanda laughed at me when she came in and saw the bag of stuff. Okay, but it's like a bag donated. of shame because it's the stuff that all of us who are now yarn snobs started with. Everybody has one of these bags. I haven't it's been. The it's the one that my kids baby get to stuff, use. Or the it's like the Vanna's Choice. It's the stuff that you maybe have because you would knit for someone who ruins real wool. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not stuff horrible you, stuff. It's no. just... I know snob. I'm not going to use it. There's lots of stuff yeah. in there that would be perfect for baby blankets. In fact, I made baby blankets for both of our kids out of it. Uh, my number three doesn't have one. Oh, and he and the oldest were fighting over the blue and green one the other night. Just so you know. because I my, have blue and green. You can them. have it. <laughs> so those were my interpretations. I and love then them. I need to buy myself some. You said you got them from Pom Pom? I got them from Pom Pom, and I'm still looking for volumes. Let's see. Do they have one of those things um, where you can put your email in when they tell them tell you that they're back in stock? No, I don't think so. But I need volumes two and three. So if, you know, somebody knows of a yarn store that has them. Or maybe know. has extras, you know. I know, because I want them. She's not picky. I need them. <laughs> I also bought a knitting Cute. Bible ginormous. Everybody was showing this off like a month ago. But it's like giant and it's like impossible to actually show you. But That's like, what do they call them? Like, like a coffee table book? Yeah, it has like all kinds of stuff in it with like I use mine. Different techniques ton. and stuff and I didn't have one. So this is like a, um, well, Are you a, warning us that you're going to come out with some new patterns? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to get like I do not have peak down though. But just for like different techniques and stuff because um, I've done a fair amount of sample knitting and mm -hmm. when I'm knitting stuff I like things to be matching the left and the right and all this stuff I'm a little OCD about these things. So I just wanted to have the book for reference so that instead of having to knit the swatch each time I can just look at the pretty pictures in the book <laughs> and figure out which two matches and what I'm doing wrong with my SSKs that make them not perfect. Oh, my looks fantastic. driving me mad. I'll show you what I do. It's driving me mad. Thank you. Oh, that's what I forgot to put on this morning. Okay, go watch your show. <laughs> and They're fun to have, though. Like, just to have. Right? Yeah. Just, yeah. So I seriously reference mine a lot. I know. I think it would be really useful. Yeah, that and what's that website? It's at knitting.com um, where they have the videos of the different things. Tech knitting. Yeah, and it's like because I can never remember the make one right and make one left. And what I love is that on that on that site, um, they also have like little diagrams and then they also have the videos but yes. for both continental and English. Right, and that's it because we're continental yeah, letters. So I love it, that. It's a difference. Because when you YouTube it, you can, you can find it, but it's just so easy. Like here you go on and it's like, okay, the stitch, which version do you want? Yeah. It's pretty smart. Yeah. So I like that. So and what's this then, one? I haven't seen this one. This is another knitting Bible. Aww. It is the, the 750 knitting stitches. Oh, look, it's color coded. And it's That's also. That's visually appealing. Giant book. So. Not quite as big as the Vogue. Same sort of idea. Ugh. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> is, I don't want you to work out. <laughs> like, it's all like different knit stitches and like patterns and stuff in it. Like lots of fun stuff. So. It's like a flip book for knitters because I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, like this will be, <laughs> I, I like this will be fun for like um, just coming up with like um, new patterns for like a blanket or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or even like if you're just knitting your sock instead of just a plain yeah, socky net. A bit if you want to like put a panel of something down yeah. the middle, yeah, done. Or different cast on or offs or whatever. Yeah. So that's awesome. That's pretty much what I've been indulging in. Is Books, yeah, more books. I um, I have been indulging a little bit of yarn therapy, 
it's been it's been a couple months of yarn therapy and I don't even have it all but I do have other things to show you so I got this beautiful thing it's a singles because you know my my love affair with singles where is it from uh lofty loops oh I haven't heard of them yeah I follow her on Instagram look how fantastic that it's is really pretty. yeah and of course I've already molested it which is why it's not perfect. I had to put the thing back on just to show it. So it's called um didn't dinner dinner can didn't know dinner I don't know. It's called that. <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's um Where, where's she from? The States. Oh. Um I would know because I've literally talked to her. Midwest maybe? I'm not real good with I'm not the locations real good with of my American is not states. Fun. I barely got the provinces now. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's so pretty though. It is really nice. And the green. It's cup. very muted. I know. Which is surprising. I am a woman of mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. But like, I could just see this paired with like, I don't know. I was thinking of pairing it with like a. Silver, like a really light silver. I mm -hmm. thought that would look really pretty. Just as like you can pull out the navy. Ooh, yeah. I could do the navy. I wouldn't do the the orange, the green, or the yellow, but I would I would tone it. Yeah. Keep it muted. Keep the whole palette muted. Anyways, That's I really, nice. really love it. It was one of those like I just had to have it. Like before I even knew what was happening, it was in my cart and PayPal was gone through and I love that. It happened. It just happened this as well happened that way I don't blame you so this is one of the first indie dyers that I ever really kind of started following and yeah. she's like you guys all know who this is gonna be mm -hmm. she is based in Manchester UK Countess of Blaze this is pretty <laughs> Isn't this amazing? So this skein, I have not bought I don't even anything. know how to get these colors. Like, I could not even do this. This is not my wheelhouse. <laughs> At all. Girl, this is barely in my wheelhouse. So this skein came out of, I don't know the full story, but I was following the Instagram story, and I think it was a restaurant local to her wanted her to have, like, a fundraiser or something with them, mm. but and they were like, they wouldn't pay her for the wool or something because okay. they were like, you know, you'll get lots of exposure, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, are you kidding me? Like, so, God love her. I love the colorway name. So this colorway, this beautiful is, if I want exposure, I'll get my tits out. <laughs> this <is> hilarious. <laughs> I freaking love it. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And this is a BFL, because if you're doing British wool, you go BFL. Yeah. And it's super soft. Feel how soft that it's is. It's really nice. What I love about her is that she's so unique. She is and herself. Just colorful. Yeah. And there's no making excuses no. for wanting to live her life her to the fullest. I think that's why I love her so much because she's everything I want to grow up to be. <laughs> <laughs> like she is she's like my spirit animal. I love it. I, I freaking love it. And Oh, it, it came, says it makes a donation to the women's aid. Yes, that was that was the next part of the story I forgot oh, to tell. So I'm, no, 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 I'm glad you said that because I got so wrapped up in the color and I was getting all like verklempt over the colorway name. I forgot. I love you know. this. This is like on fire. Right. At first I thought it was Contessa Blaze, but no, it's Countess of Blaze. Countess of Blaze. Anyway, so I sneak peek that this on Instagram yesterday when I just got it yesterday. So Gorgeous. it's a good thing we didn't podcast last week. So I was going to like pop its cherry on camera. Ooh. Oh, look, her pants what? are on the inside. <gasps> Shut up. No. And look, she has one of those, like, pictures that you can take a picture yeah, of. I don't know. Look, guys. Oh. What? And then this is the QR code that oh. is the picture you can take a picture of. <laughs> you know. What? Let's open that up. Let's She's open it. hiding all this goodness on the inside of the bag. <sighs> oh, hold on. I don't want to rip this, though. Because that. Oh, and she called it her Persephone soft yarn. That is really sticky. Really sticky, like this is well fabricated. She's like, I love her, like a girl crush. Sorry, Tannis, you got replaced. Mm. Although I did get a message from Tannis, so I'm kind of like, hey, look at that, look at that. That is seriously awesome sauce, and it matches the yarn. Oh my god, it's so good. Look at that. What? Oh my god. So what does it say? 
Uh, well, clearly, we're amateurs. I mean. <laughs> we only have one-sided bands. So what is what? wrong with us? And they're not, like, shiny. Countess Ablaze is an independent dye studio in Manchester, UK, specializing in bold, vivid, and saturated say. colors. For guidance on caring for your hand-dyed yarn, you scan that. Snazzy. That is so snazzy. I am so jealous right now. And look, she even has like a um, barcode. She's that fancy. And oh, did you see that it says thanks for fighting the patriarchy with me? I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna open we're open open this baby up. Okay, so I oh my god, look at the yellow! Oh my god, it's like it is as bright as it looks. Yeah. Whoa, sunglasses. <sighs> like, honestly, my eyes are tearing up a little. That's it's crazy. so bright. What are you knitting with this? I don't even know. I just needed it because... You just might just hang it as decoration. <laughs> no, seriously. That would be so much fun. Like, I would just hang it like this. Actually, it looked really cool schemed up, so I might hang it mm. schemed. I want to put hooks all over one of the walls in my dye studio and just have it. That or I'm going to, like, hang up my grid wall and just hang up. My favorite's just an inspiration. But oh my god. I you just, know what? It's I kind of similar to my um my um Greetings Alien colorway though, eh? Mine yeah, just has, has some a, of the mine same has a, in it. Yeah. A turquoise on it too. But this is freaking fantastic. I can't even I can't even. I don't like how do you get those colors? Anyways, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna actually Oh, oh, oh dear. Don't do that. Whoops. Yeah, it's it's freaking fantastic. Three ties. I can appreciate that. I only do two ties, but because you know why I only do two ties? Because the ties have to be on the end when I twist. I mm. hate when ties are in the middle and they ruin the <laughs> I have issues. Not the only one. Okay, so what I was I meant to say about the lofty loops, and she's the one who makes all of the beautiful schemes for pictures. You should look up her Instagram because her Instagram is like eye porn. It's mm. good. I do appreciate a good photo. Right? Okay, now I have to get this back perfect. It's looking pretty good. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. There. You have to keep even tension. I think I'm. I think I'm good. Okay. Everybody taking notes. not quite as tight as she did it, but I think I did an okay it's job. Gorgeous. You have to molest it a bit to really work it. <laughs> really valuable tips here, guys. Really valuable. Yeah, this is this is the podcast you come to for all of the insider tips. I'm going to put that super fancy button band, like, oh my god, button band. <laughs> Yarn band. Whatever. Yeah, and then she had it done up really tight there. Mm -hmm. Look, it's like a... <laughs> yeah, it's great. Fantastic. Kind of bursting out at the top there. Well, you know, it's mine now. That's how it works. <laughs> All right. And then, oh, gosh. I have, do you want to go? Because I have one more. Do you want to go? No, you can go. go. Okay. So, my friend Jen, who does uh, Northern Pine. Oh, this is the yeah. Jen's game. He's a Jen Gave color. Me I had a really bad week a couple weeks ago. Some family stuff going on. And she surprised me with a mug that was really cute. It says, be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. And then it's sparkle wool. Isn't that pretty? I almost caked it up last night because I have an idea for it. So I'm going to have to uh, do that when I get home. Oh, what kind of idea? You'll have to wait and see. Can you, like, give hints? Like, what part of my body will it go on? Does it go on my body? It will go up here. Specifically my body? <laughs> and I'm pairing it up with an ivory. Ooh. I may be trying brioche for the first time. What? Right? Isn't it's that going to be perfect? It's so easy. Yeah, so I'm really excited. And it's sparkle. I don't know mm -hmm. if you can see it. It's silver sparkle. It doesn't usually come off too oh, well. Maybe a little. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Anyways, yeah. A bit. So yeah, so that was really nice to come home to one day to, to mm -hmm. have that on my front porch with my new mug. And I have like awesome. a thing for mugs. Jen's awesome. Jen's, Jen's awesome. awesome. Yeah. I have a lovely mug collection. That's like my thing. And uh, so it was nice to have my new friend. I have a mug. mug collection and they're all the same kind <laughs> where mine are like random mugs from yep. anywhere it's a fun saying if it's a fun color it's well my coffee mugs all the same my tea mugs not quite yeah well that's 
that is it other than my skein from Annie. Mm. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything else new. I do have things coming because I accidentally bought some wool from Jelly Bean Yarns last night. Ooh. Have you seen her new tulip colorway? No. Oh my god. Okay, no. so you get what I you're going to I have like not show. been on Instagram for like, like I have, but like for five minutes a day for the last month. I don't, I haven't been on as much as you would, like as I usually, but this was one of those like at first it popped up right away mm. and it's taking forever to load. I'm looking forward to this new algorithm thing where it right? doesn't show me stuff that's like three days old. Well, and this is, it was like a day old. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, she called that's it tulip. Gorgeous. And that is going to be mine. So when I was little, I got in big trouble because we had a lot of tulips in our yard and I would go out and pick them and eat them because I had oh. seen that they're edible. And they are. You they ate are, tulips? They're very yummy. Huh? But my father did not appreciate me making a tulip salad. You're hilarious. Oh my God. So my husband and his brother took their golf clubs and used the tulips as golf balls, his whole, his mom's whole front garden. To this day, she still tells her boys, leave my tools alone. If you well, don't follow boys her, now have follow boys. Her. <laughs> Maybe I know, it's ironic. I know, each boy now has two boys, so it's like double whammy. Yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm good. I want to see this. Okay, so Christina won't let us put this on camera. Well, no, this, but not the but story. But a funny story. Me, and it was hilarious. It involved cacti and teeth. There was an incident. <laughs> Okay. And trauma. <laughs> and a bicycle with pedals at your hands. That's all I'm going to say. Bug her if you want the story because it was okay. epic. So these will be going up in my shop. Minus um, one that's going to come home with me. Today. <laughs> I'm going to be loading these up like as soon as we're done recording here. So they may already be in the shop by the time this airs. Oh, no, you can't do that. Okay, fine. I'll wait till... Wait until I'll you put this up tomorrow. on YouTube and then put those up. But so, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll put these up in the shop um, after this goes up on YouTube. Um, but I do have a large update that I'm going to start loading today. Are you? Yeah. There's, there's a lot here, guys. There's a lot. Um, a lot. A lot. What's that one? Which one? The orange. The orange? That is um, my Orioles colorway. It is sporty stripes. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, my uh, husband and two kids have requested a pair of Oreo socks. You, Amanda. Oh, thanks, big guy. It's I actually really like these things. I know, me too. <laughs> Snack guy delivering <laughs> banana bread. School safe. No, no nuts. <laughs> these are amazing. I buy these from Costco in I know. Like, bulk. I know, I do too. Can I actually eat it? Yes. <laughs> no, you may not eat. <laughs> Oh, awesome. You should have seen the little dance that just happened. He's to be so quiet when he goes to school. Aww. Oh gosh. Yeah, I have quite a lot of stuff that's going to be going up in the shop. A few things that hasn't been in the shop for about a year and a couple of things that was in last month's update that's going to be there again. And whoever asked me recently about the one skein that you haven't done in a while, Birdster. you know who you are. Birdster. It's back. It is. I remember now who it was. Okay. So I'm going to text her. But it's back. It's going to go up in the shop. When are you doing it? Tomorrow? Thursday? I'm starting to load it today. Mm -hmm. So so you lose out because this will be up after. That's right. I mean. <laughs> I mean. Mm -hmm. Otherwise I forget. I have so much. So on to blather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Start yapping now. So I have five kids. And I have two in um, rep baseball. And I have one in rep lacrosse. And then I have one in Scouts, and then I've got two little ones. Hence the big bottles of wine. Hence the big bottles of wine. Hence these sitting on the sidelines and going to practice or a game or sometime both. Really good. Almost every day all summer. So I'm trying to... Nails are terrible. Hard. <laughs> so it's going to be busy. It's going to be so busy. But anywho, my kids' team is the Orioles, so they have all requested Orioles socks. It's really nice, guys. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. It's uh, orange, white, and black. And the black is really nice this time. I tried in black. It's gorgeous. Okay. Let me try. So here, I'll show you. Hold on. No, I want to know about the dye. I'll, I'll show you. I don't think I have a black from previous blacks. Fuck. Give me the... Ooh. 
black. Is and it the, the true black? No. And this um, colorway used to come with black mini skeins for the heels and toes, Is but it I switched the, um, it. It's orange now. Um, it has to do with like a photocopier. Um, toner black? No, I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you. I really like that black. And I, I love how saturated it is. Yeah. Because black, if you don't overload it and almost, like, you you almost can't clear the pot, the dye from the pot, mm -hmm. it ends up gray. Like It ends up being, like, um, gray, a sort of washed out looking. But then if you add too much dye, then it ends up bleeding. So it's like this. But that's supposed to be charcoal gray. Well, yeah. But yeah, supposed to be this. But is... this is almost full strength black, and you still only get charcoal. Hard. It's so, so hard to get a and I love black. I want black. Like this yeah. is supposed to be charcoal, and it works out well for this. But I want a black like that. Mm -hmm. Please tell me your secrets off camera. I we can't know. give away all our secrets. No. Not everything. Okay. I give away some, but not all. Yeah. Did you know that if you put black in yellow, it makes a brighter yellow? What? Like a fluorescent yellow? No. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Obviously, she doesn't watch my lives. <laughs> no, I didn't even know this. So I wanted to make like almost like like a highlighter yellow. Yeah. And all I had was um, Jacquard's yellow, which is pretty bright, but it's more like a sunshine yellow. And an indie dyer, I can't remember who it was, was like put black in it. I was like, <laughs> sure, it will make it muddy. I was putting radioactive in to make it a little like just a smidge. To yeah, make yeah. It. And she's like, no, no, trust me. So I did. I just used like almost like a few kernels of black, and it like it worked. What? I know it blew like, my mind. Seriously, guys, this it is blew my mind. weird. Like sometimes she makes two colors, and you're like, "Oh, well, you know, these two colors always make this." Like the color wheel tells me. No. Mm -hmm. And the silver and fire engine red makes purple. <laughs> swear, swear, swear to God. Yeah, sure does. I've been having fun. It's interesting. And fawn goes like goes like a ready purple too. It's weird. It's a weird one. I really like it. Weird. I have one that's but. green when you pour it in the water, and then it's brown when it comes out. Mm. Is yeah. it olive? No, but that one does it too. Yeah. No, it's supposed to be Technique. brown, but it turns yeah. out purple. What? It's it's so it's weird. weird. Like sometimes you're like, oh, I totally got this, and I'm like, well, I just ruined twelve skeins because it's not the color I thought it would be. Yep. You know what one did that to me? Um, 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 a caber cabernet. Cabernet, yeah. It was not what I assumed. Cabernet to me is almost like, yeah, like a wine no. color. No, no, no. Nope. No. It was in the wrong drawer too, because I had to put it with my rose. Oh. Yeah, no. It's been like dye is just like blows my mind. Mm -hmm. Have you tried intense iris? Yes. Really pretty though. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then um, I got frozen. Yes. Frozen's very nice. I liked frozen. I need more sapphire. What else did I like this week? I made a new green. What? I'll have to show you pictures. It was really nice. So, <laughs> sorry guys, we had totally got like. So for St. Patrick's Day. Oh I my released, God! I released this, and I thought y'all would think I was nuts because look at it, guys. This is bright. It's not quite that bright. Not though. quite that bright. I don't <laughs> freaking close. It's like bright, and this is the mini that goes with it, which is sparkly gold color. And, and I thought you guys were gonna it. think I was nuts. It sold. It did. I'm like, whoa, that's okay, Can anybody just get a moment of appreciation for her winding skills here? Like, look at that. I do. I'm going to knit a pair of socks in this because I just think they're fun. But the winding the skills. Like, you even got the color of the rainbow. Like, you didn't just, like, yeah. mix it up. I'm impressed. Yeah. I bowed down to the master. Okay, my hand bowed down. Well, <laughs> We're sitting on stools. something. <laughs> well, I think, is that about it? I think that's about it. I think I've got dye pots waiting for me because I'm doing a live this afternoon. Jen's I'm coming not, on. I'm, I'm going to work. <laughs> Are you going to the work work? I'm going to work work. Mm. Not work. But yeah, so basically real life is calling us. <laughs> but it was fun. I'm glad was, we finally yes, sat down. It was great to we're, sit down and talk to you We're going to do better because this is fun. We've got to make a schedule. We are. Because if it's not on the schedule, it gets forgotten. <sighs> right? It does. I know. I am going to give you these back though. Okay. Because I need a man foot one. Those are good. These are the uh, these are the extra large ones. If anybody, <laughs> yeah, needs man sock walkers. I'm gonna need to because man club, man club. Mm -hmm. 
Like Just face. wait till you see March. You're gonna like March. Maybe not. We'll see. This is yours too. Look at the difference. What size okay. are your girl ones? Um, medium, I think. Yeah. I think they're medium and extra large. Yeah, mine are about the same size as yours. These are my fruity fee one, which was my original business name. Yeah. So I need man ones. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going, going home. We'll leave ya. Bye, guys. Thanks Bye. for joining us and listening to us jabber for an hour. And I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you two weeks. Let's plan for two weeks. Let's plan for two weeks. We'll try. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Have a great day.